Next, I'm going to show you um, some extra tests that you can do, um, some extra special tests that you can do from the shoulder. Um, in our, uh, an, another video, obviously we have gone through a full examination um, of the shoulder, showing you some of the special tests that I personally use um, more regularly than, than others, but these are extra tests that you can use if you feel that there is something going off um, you know, with the bicep, for example, um, or you may suspect a, a slap lesion, um, some of these tests are, are good for those. Um, but I'm not going to, just like the other video, I'm not going to fully go through exactly how to do these special tests. It's more for reference that they are there um, should you want to use them to help, um, again, build the puzzle and um, get extra pieces of information to try and help you with your diagnosis. So I'm going to show you the uh, scarf test. So the scarf test, we want to place our hands um, over the shoulder just to stop any um, excessive uh, elevation or um, retraction through the shoulder girdle. So we want to just support there. And then what we're going to do is bring our patient's arm up and then guide them across and trying to close down the space within the shoulder just there. Again, with all these special tests, you would always do the good side first, and then you would then repeat the test on the bad side. Today, I am gonna just show you these, uh, these tests on one side. So I'm just gonna show you that again, supporting the shoulder, bringing the elbow up, uh, elbow into 90 degrees just there, and then we're gonna bring the arm across the body, uh, closing the space down uh, within the shoulder joint just there. Okay, and any kind of shoulder impingement um, would highlight there, you would be getting quite a, uh, a bit of pain and the, the restriction through the shoulder, they wouldn't be able to get that, that range of movement. The next test we've got is the Jurgensen's test. So this one, we're going to bring the um, elbow into the side elbow at 90 degrees and we're going to have our patient come into full uh, pronation. We're going to palpate with our uh, other hand, we're going to palpate the, the long head uh, of the, ten, the long uh, bicep tendon just here and we're going to ask our patient to try and supinate, so from pronation they're going to try and supinate their hand and we're going to resist that movement. So Mike if you can try and resist there, perfect. And what we're trying to do there is provoke any pain through uh, the long head of the bicep. So again, causing um, kind of retesting that tendonitis, that bicep tendonitis, okay? Next test would be uh, an apprehension test. So if we ask our patient to lie on their back, this one's a good one for if we're suspecting um, a slap lesion. So a slap lesion, um, is where we're talking about the labrum of the shoulder. So if you think that labrum around the glenoid has been um, uh, injured in any way, it, the shoulder can become unstable. So what we're trying to do here is we're actually trying to take the shoulder uh, to a, a range of movement that would make it feel quite unstable. Um, so we're going to be watching our patient. We're gonna do this one very, very slowly. We're gonna bring the, the shoulder into 90 degrees of abduction just here the elbow into 90 degrees of flexion and we're slowly going to take the arm down um, into that external rotation just there. Um, so I'm supporting the shoulder but not putting too much over pressure on. I want, I want the shift of the humerus to come forward um, and if we get to that point what you can do then is just put a little bit of over pressure taking the elbow down towards the floor uh, to put a little bit of extra pressure through the shoulder just there. Again, if there's any kind of instability, that would highlight at that point, okay? Whilst we're in this position, I will show you um, our last extra test, um, which is the um, bicep load test, uh, the second bicep load test. So we're bringing the shoulder into um, abduction of around 110, 120 degrees, and we're gonna have a 90 degree flexion through the elbow. And then what I'm gonna ask my patient to do is simply do a bicep curl and push against me. So resist my pressure just there. 
perfect. And again, if that was a positive, we would be getting pain in the anterior portion of the shoulder. Okay, so I hope that is helpful. Again, these are just extra tests you can do. There are hundreds of tests um, for the body, and this is just a few that I've shown you. Um, but hopefully that will just help you um, give a, a more thorough examination when looking at shoulder conditions.